Good morning, I'm Keith Byrne with Back Before Shop Dino. We're here to show you a little demonstration of our shop dinos this morning. Um, it's going to be a quick demo, kind of give you an idea of what our machine will do for you. Load the shock into the machine. Uh, it's got brass pins in here that float up and down. We've got a crossbar. We set the height of the shock according to what, you know, what it is. This is a gas shock, so we have some pressure on it. At this point, we snug the two ends up so it's snug against the pins so there's no slop in the pins. We've already got the machine on. Um, typically, we start it out slow. This knob here controls the speed. This is showing us the speed of the shock right now. That's showing us we're running at 1.5 inches per second. It's only three inch stroke. We can speed the machine up anywhere from basically one tenth of an inch per second, clear up to 12 and a half inches per second. Um, we do a warm up cycle on it. We usually do it pretty fast. That way it takes it's faster to warm the shock up. At that point, I'll slow it down. This particular shock is a sprint car shock we run. We're going to do it at one inch per second. We set our machine to one inch per second, and then we set our pen down and let it graph the shock. Once we've let it cycle a couple times at one inch, we're going to go to three inches. Same thing, we're going to put our pen back down. Let it cycle a couple times, pull the pen back up. Five inches per second. We're seeing it's changing its shape a little bit now. And we're going to end up at seven inches per second. <coughs> at this point, I'll just slow it down. I'll go to stop. By going to stop, we park it at bottom dead center every time so we know where to put the shock on it. We'll look at the chart. Each line represents a speed. Um, this is my high torque dyno. We actually have two positions on it. If we're in the low position, we will read the low numbers. They're, at that point, their value is 25 pounds per line. If we go to the high position, it doubles it. It's 50 pounds per line. It enables us to do up to 1,500 pounds. Our standard shop dyno, which is 110 volt, uh, only has the bottom position and it goes up to 650 pounds. This particular dyno, the high torque dyno, is a 220 volt dyno. The chart, by looking at it, we can tell a number of things. Um, we can see the pounds, the shock exerted at the different um, speeds. The other thing we can see that I think is really important, it's one of the reasons it makes these dynos, this particular mechanical dyno, very valuable is we can see how it got to that um, pressure. Like this shock as it sped up, actually started building nose in it, it came over, uh, went down. We can also see what kind of piston's in the shock. This particular piston's digressive. And by that, from one to three inch, had um, close to 75 pound increase. From three to five, it was only 50. And from five to seven was not quite 25 pounds. In other words, it degressed as it sped up. It always built more pressure, but it degressed. But it usually changes that shape when it does that. I'm a linear piston, linear being the faster you go or equal speed increase will typically be equal pressure increase. So it's some of the things we can tell on this dyno very simply. Once we've plotted this shock, 
Uh, one of the things you do then to keep record is each one of these is a tear sheet. So we just pull out a file pair and write the shock and the date, what it was, and we keep that in our records. Um, some guys are real uh, fanatical about it. They record every, you know, after every race what they do. I kind of just keep track of my shocks and periodically, you know, dying them to make sure they're still doing what they said they were doing. I hope this gave you a little bit of an understanding of how our shotgun works and what you can do with it. Thank you very much.